Hey guys, welcome back to another command block tutorial and today we're going to be taking a look at some mob control, how to get any mob that you want to follow any path you want to set up in your world. Uh, and it's pretty basic guys, I went ahead and picked villagers for this tutorial just so I can show you uh, how to do it mob specific if you want it mob specific. Uh, it's even easier to do for all mobs actually. Uh, nothing to it guys just these four command blocks over here running the whole thing and like I said at any point in time guys you can you can change up this path and just make it your own doesn't really matter what you do uh, we'll just have this guy kinda loop out here real quick uh, just to give you guys a demonstration of just how easy it is to uh, to change these paths and I accidentally screwed up uh, there just a little bit uh, just need to push them back on there because I told that last stair to push them all the way to the edge. But now you see this whole path's completely changed. Super simple. All you got to do is switch up the stairs. And let me show you how this works, guys. Uh, all four of these command blocks are essentially running the same command. Uh, you're just going to change a few small little things. Uh, starting off with the execute command here, running it through all entities that are type villager. Uh, if you don't want uh, to run it you know, through just villagers, you want it to work for all mobs, just cut that out like I did. But we're going to keep it mob specific. Um, so executing through all villagers, uh, the detect command, which is just going to look two blocks below where that villager is standing. And it's going to try and check for stone stairs with a damage value of zero. Uh, this damage value right here, guys, is essentially going to be the key to how this whole thing works. If we jump over here real quick, look at this set block command. Uh, if we change our damage value to zero real quick, you're going to notice it just changes the rotation of these stairs. So that damage value just determining what direction these stairs are facing. And if we look, uh, stairs with a damage value of zero facing towards the negative x direction or the 90th degree um, so if we jump back in here so if it's a, if that villager successfully finds stone stairs with a damage value of zero below it it'll then teleport that one villager which you specify right here so teleport all entities type equal villager but only one of them uh, and it's going to teleport it point to uh, negative point two in the x direction since that's the uh, direction that these stairs are facing they're facing towards negative x so we're going to move him towards negative x just keep the y and the z values the same for that uh, and then this is just going to be the rotation that uh, your mobs going to be facing so once again if we check towards negative x about 90 degrees so that's all that we're going to do uh, the second value is um, just you know how high or low that he's looking. We're just leaving it at zero. Uh, if you do want to throw this rotation in here, guys, as far as what direction he's facing, you have to have both of these numbers. If you take out just this zero, uh, it'll treat it like an improper command. So we either need to have both of them out or both of them in. Um, but it's super simple, guys. It's essentially doing this for all of them. Uh, stone stairs to if we change our damage value over here to two uh, now it's facing towards negative Z so we jump back in here it's just got it teleporting negative point two in the Z direction now and it's got a new direction which is 180 degrees uh, so that's all you're doing guys it's four command blocks uh, check in for four different damage values on the stairs uh, which are just it's these stairs I just set it up so that um, it's moving in whatever direction uh, this lower end is pointing so I mean it's as simple as that I, I can't really think of how else to explain it guys uh, whenever it finds those stairs facing in a certain direction it's just gonna start to teleport them just point to and it doesn't seem like much. Uh, this you can actually use to control uh, the speed that you want them to move at. Uh, if we change these all to point 0.1, uh, 
you'll notice it'll dramatically slow down how fast he moves um, and if you were to increase it you know he'd start zipping around uh, you can't go higher than one though guys because uh, it would send him uh, right off the edge because he would teleport himself uh, over the stairs essentially he wouldn't be able to detect the next one in line for a corner uh, he just goes sailing off the side so gotta keep it below one guys but I mean I thought point two just looked pretty realistic seems about right as far as what pace these villagers should be moving at I mean if you're doing baby zombies or something you know pick up the pace you know feel free change it up guys play with it a little bit uh, I mean all kinds of things that you can do with this completely reconfigurable I mean, if you just leave this running any villager that gets on here is just they're just all gonna start joining the train uh, if you guys have any questions about this anything at all just leave it in the comments below I'll get right back to you um, I'll also go ahead and post in the description uh, these four codes so that you guys can just copy them and throw them into your world because I mean, who isn't gonna have fun with this I gotta I gotta work on finding something really fun and interesting to do with this for you guys but I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the other side